Hi everyone, it's great to see you. I'm Natasha from the Axelson Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to administer and score the Acadians Nonsense Word Fluency Assessment. This is a fabulous assessment for determining if students have some basic decoding skills. So we're talking phonics skills. And some people right away, they think nonsense word fluency. Why in the world are we having our students read nonsense words? Well, the truth is your kids are really smart and they memorize a lot of those short little words really quickly. So I wouldn't know if they had memorized the word cat or if they actually knew the sounds k, a, t, and that they were looking at those letters and giving me the sounds. Smart kids, what can you say? So what we do is we give them nonsense words so that they're forced to actually sound the word out, a word like sog. And let's face it, if it's a word they don't know, it kind of is like starting with a nonsense word. They have to look at those individual letters and sound them out and decode that word. We don't go and teach our kids nonsense words. We're teaching them the phonics skill and how to decode a word. But for the purpose of an assessment, it works really, really well to make sure we're assessing the right thing and not wasting our time. Let me show you how we do this. Here I have the Acadians Nonsense Word Fluency Assessment. So let me show you how this would look. We're going to read some make-believe words. Listen, this word is sog. The sounds are s a -g. G. Your turn. Read this make-believe word. If you can't read the whole word, tell me any sounds you know. Some students will right away say mip. Some will say m -i -p. Depending on their answer, it's how you respond. If they say mip, you say very good, reading the word mip. Or if they give the sounds, you say very good, m -i -p, or mip. And if they don't say it correctly, you say listen. M -ip or mip. Your turn, read this make-believe word. If you can't read the whole word, tell me any sounds you know, and you respond accordingly. I would like you to read many more make-believe words. I would like you to read more make-believe words. Do your best reading. If you can't read the whole word, tell me any sounds you know. You put the student copy in front of them, which looks like yours, but larger. Here is the teacher scoring guide. Put your finger under the first word, ready, begin. Now, if the student were to start going down, you would say, go this way, because we do want them to read across. Believe it or not, the timing is different, whether you are reading across or down, and because this is nationally normed, we need to make sure everybody is reading it the same direction. So here we go. You start when the student begins, and you are going to underline it to score it the way the student says it. So, if the student says k, e, k, three separate sounds, you're going to do three separate lines. If the student says one separate sound and two sort of blended together, you're going to write like that, f, iv, f, iv, and I would give that one line. If they say the whole thing like it's a word all on its own, os, then you give it one line. Sometimes the student will first read it separately, Z, uh, o, and then go back and say it as a whole word, zul. <sighs> a, u. I'm going to go on to the next line. Love. R, a, s. Now, this should be a short 
sound, not a long A sound because it is three letters and we know that that phonics rule makes that a short A sound. And since I gave the long A sound, I'm gonna put that macron above the A to show that it is the long sound. If there's another way that you want to notate that, that is fine but it always helps to know what the child did say. But I didn't put anything under there because they didn't get that one right. J, A, P. Oh, I said the P sound instead. I'm just gonna put a P there so I know what was said. Iv, Peb, Yiz, L, Us. Yeah, ooh. K, A, M. Oh, there's that long A again that I did. Taz. Let me read the next one and you score it with me. A, B. S, E, Z. Z, Odd. A s fast hill. Okay, we'll pretend that's where the one minute stops. Now you have all these lines here. What does that mean? There are two scores that you get from the nonsense word fluency test. You get the C L S, the correct letter sounds and the whole word read. So first let's look at the correct letter sounds. That's did they correctly identify it. So they said all correct letter sounds here. Like this one here in line two, they said a p instead of f. That is not a correct letter sound. But up here, they might have blended some together and some were separate, but they are all there. So if they are underlined in any way, we give them full credit for that. We got all 14 correct letter sounds. Then I look for the whole words read. Now this is very important. You can only give credit to a whole word read if it is read as a whole word the first time. So with zul, we sounded it out first, z, a, o, then we blended it into a whole word, zul. I can't give them credit for a whole word read for that, but I can give them os. So whenever it is the whole word read the first time, I give credit. So, oh, let's see. Here's one that was not correct. Here's another that was not correct. So I had 14 possible, we missed two. We got 12 out of 14. And now I'm going to look for how many were whole words read correctly the first time. One, two, three. Okay, let's go to the next line. How many, were there any mistakes? Oh, one. So I had a total of 15 possible sounds and I missed one. Not bad. And then how many words did I read the whole word the first time? One, two. Last row. Ooh, looks like I got all correct letter sounds. I see all the letters are underlined, full 14 points. And then do I have any that have the full line the first time? This is the second time, so that doesn't count. Here's the first time. I'll give a point there. And then you're going to total these up. So we have 54 correct letter sounds. And we have seven whole words read. And those are the important numbers that we would look for on the comparison chart to compare this work against the national norm. I hope this was helpful to you. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. I will be putting out more videos on how to score a lot of these key screening tools. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.